Good morning, mamas. Oh, did you wake up? Oh, this is perfect. You're doing little stretches during the day. so good. Last night she slept three and a half and a four hour stretch. And then this morning she's eaten every hour and a half and then I think this is two and a half hours. I'm so ready. Oh, well, you're bright eyed and bushy tailed. So I'm ready to eat, mommy. Good morning, everybody. We have had an awesome morning. We made about 30 waffles. We froze about 20 of them. And I got to wear one of my favorite things I've ever received from a subscriber. This daddy who belongs to Kinsley Callie and a baby girl who has my heart. She just spit up on Kinsley? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Was that silly? I was nervous Kinsley was gonna like drop her, like, but she didn't, she held on, she held on nice and tight. Good and job. Just said, uh -oh. Are you oh, such I a good it. big sister? Whoa. Oh, she said, whoa. And then we just wiped it off her arm and then, oh, Kinsley's the baby hog of the family. She's definitely the baby hog. Mama, yeah. you're doing well sleeping. Kinsley, you're amazing. Grammy, your help has made this farm happen. And little Callie is doing some music. Look how loose I had to have him for pregnancy and how much oh. room there's there is. Your big chunky they're feet. Better, they're back to my normal I feet. I can see a vein in them now. They're my normal feet. Like oh this my is gosh. so, my shoes are, look how loose they are. You crushing postpartum. I feel like, see. It's amazing. Like that was like, I don't want it to go away. Like everyone's like, don't worry, it'll go down. Just keep nursing. I'm like, I like it. It's a memory of the miracle. I hope that after pregnancy, you stay emotional. stretch and then she just cluster fed for the last two hours okay how am I putting on like any makeup I thought I brought all my makeup to the NICU to the hospital yeah it hasn't happened once since like the first day of labor so instead more importantly it's just skincare and making sure my skin actually feels like it looks good and not dry and crusty. Oh, I hear her wiggling. Oh. Oh, she's wiggling and moving. She keeps crying out and I keep thinking she's waking up, but I think she might still be sleeping. Okay. I need to sleep really quick though before going to bed. Do you remember when I was pregnant, like this was hanging up so high that my belly was hanging out? And I am 10 days postpartum and I just have this cutest little bump still. So I have, it's just right here in the front. And I like it. I'm like sad that it's like going away so quickly. But let's go get into bed. We're gonna get a couple hours of sleep. Maybe I'll see you in a few hours. Good morning. Two hours. That's okay. Let's eat. So it's actually been three hours since she ate. So that's pretty good. Just two hours since I went to bed. We'll be for about 20 minutes. Good morning.
How she are did. you? Good. She did her. She did three hour stretches last night. I know now she she'll probably cluster feed all day long. I know she ate all day long yesterday. Three hour stretches last night. I'm gonna change your buns up so you can see dry and happy do do do. I'm a big baby, yes I am. I'm 11 days old, look at my hands. I think I'm gonna win a Grammy for that one. Hey, mommy. No, she's your baby, you're her mommy. Are you hungry? Put my jammies on my feet. She's so cute. <laughs> Put my jammies on my feet. Oh, look at my jammies, aren't they neat? Look at my jammies, they're on me. Let's have a good day with family. You're so cute. Hi, are you so hungry? Hey, bud. Do you want to tell your friends good morning? Hi. Tell us. Uh, I'm going to go find Kitty, okay? Bye. Oh, okay, bye. Good morning, friends. How are you doing today? I wish we had comments, but we don't. So please find us on social media and tell me something awesome about your day. I want to know. And then every morning, we get confiscated. Right? Every morning. Can I hold her? So many snuggles every morning. <laughs> Sometimes maybe a little too much. Oh, I know, honey. Ugh. How? Getting dressed. I think I'm right. Three more seconds. Are you ready for your photo shoot? Your sisters are all dressed, mommy got dressed, and it is 11.30. We did it, barely. Our photographer got here, and we are just visiting. <gasps> okay. <laughs> How's the photo shoot going so far? Yeah. We spent most of it trying to get you to fall asleep. And then we tried to unwrap you and then that woke you up. Fancy photos are happening right now. Okay, those inside photos were the best and amazing, but we'll do a couple outside. I feel so much better healing wise. I just can't believe what a difference two weeks makes. The first day it felt like, ooh, am I ever gonna walk again normal? There we go. You probably sat just like that, just upside down. This woman right there, she's amazing. Alex, don't look up and cut your finger off with some celery. Today is the day that we celebrate slowing down. Years from now, I'm gonna think, why didn't I put down my phone and just relax and look at what God has done in our life. We've, <laughs> we've slowed down in so many aspects of our life. I want to encourage you to do the same. I don't feel the rat race anymore. Are you going to give those to the chickies? Yeah. They're your favorite. No. They Why not? Attack. What do you mean? They're, they don't like Mimi. Why not? They pecked my leg. They pecked your leg? Yeah, and I didn't do anything wrong. Well, we better go tell them that they're not allowed to do that and to knock it off. Are you going to spoil them like you do your grandchildren? Uh, no. No, because like... they're chickens? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's okay. All right, chickens, here's the deal. No one is allowed to fly at Mimi, and if you're mean to her, I'm mean to you. <laughs> Mom, 
Mom, did you grow up with chickens? We did not. We, we do not. <laughs> <laughs> They're cute though. Okay, this is my first meal that I have made in a month. It's about right. Long time for for people other than like making myself a snack and Philip's finishing it. <laughs> it's my tuna salad and we can either put it on lettuce or on cra oh, crackers so and good. this is going to be the meal of the day. Delicious. Put it on a cracker, put it on a bed of lettuce. Put it in your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. <gasps> Callie. <laughs> and let's check on little Cass. So sleepy. Our photographer's name is Lindsay, and she said she is going to sleep so well after the photo shoot. And I thought, yeah, probably. No, she's been sleeping hard. I had to rock her to sleep a little bit and swaddle her. She actually does a really good job sleeping without being swaddled. All of my girls, I think I swaddled every single baby a 100,000 times in the NICU that I kind of, with my own kids, just didn't want them dependent on swaddling and I don't know, I just wanted to see like, do you need it, do you not? And they all slept fine without really being swaddled. I was swaddled like maybe the first few weeks and then I would swaddle just like waist down and let their arms be out. And I don't swaddle Cassidy because I need her to not sleep as long of stretches as she does. Um, I don't think we've talked about it on the vlog. She has been sleep. I don't know why I'm entertained by that. I crushed it. Ugh. Ew. Did you film that? I did, I don't know why that was Dude, that was 40 ounces of water. Um, Kenzie, can you turn that off for just a minute? Oh, you are so sweet. Mm. That was instant. That was instant yes. obedience. Yeah, yes, you absolutely can because that was instant obeying. That was. Woo. She is on. Yeah, she's so kind. So I was setting my alarm for every three hours because I didn't set my alarm and Cassidy slept through the night. Uh, not through the night, she slept a six hour stretch and I woke up panicked and full and like was just like, ah! So I actually don't want to swaddle her where she sleeps really long stretches. I want her to wake up at night. Come see, okay, I'm gonna come see. I love this. Papa's gonna engineer a great one for you. Does that sound like a good plan? Yeah, okay, let's go eat dinner though. Okay, so put your crackers in your bowl. Good morning, friends. How are you doing? We are on our way to an appointment. Well, not really on our way yet because baby is a breast hog. And she's living her breast life. We had a blowout on our way out. Now we're 15 minutes late, but we're bringing you guys along on a few very exciting things. Come on. Well, and can I tell you what my deodorant is this morning? Literally, it was like, <laughs> I smell myself already. It's been 2.5 seconds and I already stink. There's the hormones with postpartum. It's a real deal hand sanitizer. Oh. And this is the thieves one, so at least it smells like that like cinnamony whatever. It didn't burn. And I don't totally stink. No, that'll kill. That's much better. That'll kill. That's actually fungus. way good. See, no one wants to hear us talking. Everyone just wants to see your cute face. Say good morning. Can we also say other hot mess express is that this pacifiers from the hospital. All of our other pacifiers gone. I brought you the green one. Where? Listen, yeah. friends, when your day starts out like this, you're it part of our family. It only can go up from here. You're part of our family. It's, it's, actually, from it's, actually, not, it's actually not a bad day. It's a green day. It's a delicious day.
That was a great appointment. Yeah, it was good. I that just, was really good. It's just it's just proof of like she's not like a hundred percent typical healthy newborn just breastfeeding. Don't worry. It's so they just want her to have more calories. Um, but she's 50th, but it sounds like she's fiftieth percentile in weight. Yeah, she's fiftieth. She's like ninetieth percentile in height. It's just a matter of they want to keep her growth totally. in the right direction. So it's just a matter of and for those that don't know, mm -hmm. why is that important for her upcoming surgery? Just to make sure her, year? her heart tissues are getting big and chunky mm -hmm. and fatty and healthy and all that stuff. So she's been gaining 14 grams a day. They want her to gain 30 grams a day. Yeah. So, so that's why we're fortifying. It's because yeah. she's about gaining half the weight that she should be. Right. But it's not bad. No, like, she's really like, They would say like if she wasn't having a heart surgery, they would say her, her weight and gain is good. It's just they don't want her to drop and kind of flatten her growth chart mm -hmm. where it kind of goes to failure to thrive. They want to avoid having to recover. They just want to catch it now. Yeah. That makes sense? Yeah. Am I making sense? It makes sense to me. Okay. It makes sense in my head, but sometimes when I watch our video back, I'm like, what were you trying to say? The question is, does it make sense to you? If right, you guys have exactly. questions and we still have comments, comment down below. If you don't, go to Instagram and you guys can ask us questions there. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys are in the midst of a NICU journey, we want to support you guys as well. So just know that you're not alone in this. The checkups, the dailies, the constant feeling like you have to do so much more than the normal, you're not alone in it. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful thing to be able to have the medicine and the attention yeah. and the doctors that we do. I went to the it's exact same important. thing. 33 years ago, and it is okay. so worth it. Let's do a picture right here. Oh my gosh. They didn't, they didn't focus on nutrition mm -mm. for cardiac babies back in the day. I got so skinny. Let's put that picture in here. Mm -hmm. He was so I tiny. Was, I like, was skin and bones, looking. very sick. They were just like, give him the medicine, fix the heart. They weren't going plump them up so well, that they can, know. medicine has advanced so much of and course. we're so incredibly grateful yeah. for it. But there is someone here at this property that's been working harder than the rest of all of them. And I don't mean Daddy. any disrespect to the ladies, because I don't. But Grandpa Skip, he's crushed it. He's helped us with our garden. He's helped us with our coop. He's sacrificed his My blood, name. sweat, body, money, and tears. My name is Kendry, <laughs> and I am helping Grandpa. Bye. Come here, baby. Chickens are all the way back no, there. No, no, no. Chickens. Walk, 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 walk. Okay. I am going inside. It's going to be really dark in there. Mom. That's Cassie. Yes. And she's so darling. She's so darling. Yes, she is. And I'm going back inside. I know I just left the door open. Yes, come in. Yeah. Hey, Dad, I have a surprise. Who wins the race of getting the flowers? We're going to have to lift this up and drop it again. Do you? Yes. Here you go. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand? That we this really looks like I did a lot of work. I did none of this. Skip should be the one getting all of the glory here. Skip went and found a uh, hitch ball for the back of the lawnmower. So we get to move this thing all around the property, which was the dream come true. How, oh, never mind. she's pumping. But well, you would be equally as pumped if I showed you that our lawnmower effortlessly moves the chicken coop now. Mom, come look at this. Isn't this the best? Jeez. Have you enjoyed your life here? Have you enjoyed your stay? It. Is this a, if this were like a hotel experience, like a Google review, what would be your Google review? How many stars do you It'd think you get? It'd be a 10, mostly because there's, because of the people. It's for sure 10 because of the people. Every three weeks or four weeks or two weeks, depending upon how much the chickens want to peck, uh, they destroy the grass, but the grass grows back up. They destroy that grass over there, out yonder by the pool. Oh my God. And it's totally grown back in like two and a half weeks, what so. They destroyed their thing. They're roaming free right now. I have no job. Our pets' heads are falling off! <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, stages, and sizes. Hello. My name is Philip. We just pulled up our first vegetable from the garden. Okay. Good job. 
Hey, let's take him to the sink. You've literally been talking about this garden and working so hard, and you didn't take the camera out? I, just, I didn't think I was gonna harvest. I was what? just gonna walk the garden like I do in And you the didn't evening. like not wanna come up and get the camera because it were too many steps. Well, I, I only have a few minutes before Cassidy wakes up, so okay. time is precious. precious. Okay, let's wash the vegetables and then we'll show you the garden. I wanna see the garden. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Tonight is make your own pizza night. There you go. How many do you one at a time? Drop them in. Hallie, are you so proud of yourself? You mm -hmm. made vegetables. Do you remember when those were seeds? Good job. Hi, Dad. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Good job. How did you make those vegetables? Because. Because why? Because we had to grow food. Mama said we're gonna eat in the garden. We're gonna eat dinner in the garden? No, when tomatoes come, they can just eat directly oh, out of the garden. Oh, that will be the best. Can you hand me one? Uh, yeah, because this one's not done. Oh, okay, sorry. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Wait, we're roasting these? I've heard that that makes them not spicy and it makes them a whole different thing. Oh, great. <laughs> Girls, do you want to go feed the chickens while we wait for dinner to come? Look, he's eating a radish from the garden. Is this even how you envisioned your life? Like when you were like 18, did you think, oh, one day I'm not gonna live in a city and I'm gonna marry a ridiculous man. Uh, I'm gonna have three children and uh, I'm gonna have a farm, a small farm. I imagined that would be my dream world, but I had to accept that my dream world would probably never come true. Oh, girls, do you like having chickens? Yes! Did you imagine that your girls would have adapted this well to living life mini farm? Um, my girls are in dresses and rain boots. That sounds exactly their, their personalities. <laughs> anyway, going to get dinner. Friends, see you in a moment. Oh, what is that? That's like twice the size as it was yesterday. Wow. We showed Daddy the cucumbers. Bell pepper. Bell pepper. You're amazing, Kinsley. Okay, go give that to the chickies. Look at our little radishes. We have tomatoes, Cal? Mm -hmm. This is basil. Watermelon. Those are pumpkin. Those are spaghetti squash. These have bloomed so fast. Look at how big these leaves are. But this garden is just so special. I think we've always dreamed about having a garden. So this is just a total dream come true for us to be able to teach the girls how life happens. Put something in the garden and it grows. And then there's things that thrive and things that don't survive. And then teaching them what harvest is and how to be so grateful for what we have to not take anything for granted. What about yeah. we use baskets to pick our vegetables? Well, I think that's an awesome idea, Cal. Alex, are you weeding right now? and pruning while you have a baby in your hands? Mm -hmm. You're a champ. Can we go and eat, guys? All right, everybody, we're gonna have dinner outside and look at our garden while we're having dinner. Let's go. That's crazy, try that. It's nothing like a radish. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. It's almost like a carrot meets a... <laughs> Can I have the fork? I'm gonna taste it. Tastes like what? Tastes like roasted carrot mixed with like a little spice of maybe Daddy, a give me the fork. turnip give or something fork. like. Do you like it? Girls, does Callie have such a special surprise for us? Yes. Close your eyes, Daddy. Close your eyes. <gasps> what is this? What did you make, Callie? This looks so special. If you go in these tunnels, then you can fly down. And then if you win, then you get a pet. 
If you win, you get a pet. Show me. These are pets, and if you win, then if if you want to take any this or pets, then you can, or a book, then you can. Are those prizes for going through the special tunnel? Mm -hmm. I am so proud of you, Callie. My kids are so cute. All right, ready on the mark. Get set. Go. Kinsley got quite the head start. Wee. What did you win, Kinsley? You won your story Bible book by the Berenstein Bears. We love that book. Oh my gosh, Callie got that her elephant back. I'll let you have one. But I didn't get to go through your thing first. I know, but you can have one. Callie, you are so kind. Come on. Unbelievable. Friends, we always say character over accomplishments here. <laughs> Callie's got both. Callie's done a great job. She's in a great season of life. This is a surprise too. Close your eyes, Mom. Okay, don't, Mom, you don't really need to close your eyes. You have a baby in your hands. You don't yeah, necessarily need to do that. Yeah. Mommy, look at what your three, okay. almost four-year-old built. She Whoa. built, she built an obstacle course. Callie, do you want to explain it? This is not the cutest thing. Oh gosh. Okay. It was fine. It was a free free couch. Yeah. Free couch. Craigslist? Where'd you find that? Facebook Marketplace. Ew. But I was within the first 30 seconds of it listing. 30 seconds of it listing and it was filled with feline hair. Yeah, lots of dog hair. But oh, yeah, dog hair. We cleaned it. We did clean it. I actually really like this couch. That was very nice of you to get my coffee. Thank you. Grammy, yeah. you are about to see something magical. So, if you want to go this way or that way. I feel like I'm a snake coming out of it. <laughs> Callie, what did you ask? No, you said in the most puppy dog eye way. Can, can someone some come? Who's going to Who's going to go in the tunnel with me? Daddy's stuck. <laughs> Let's clean up all of the messes we made. Hurry up. Oh my gosh, there's just a couple more things. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. There you go, there you go, come on. You got it, you got it, you got it. You do it. Get this doll, get this doll, get this doll, get the one, get the one. You have less than a minute. You guys beat the timer. Look how much, how many seconds you had. Oh, you beat the timer. Let's. Everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest
hair. Does it look like yours? Do I match? Do I look as cute as you? No. I can look as cute as you. Okay. Because your Hi. hair is not black like mine. I know you're Wait, so cute. Wait, this is not recording. It is recording. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mommy's hot. No. What do I? Who is that? Do you want to see a picture? Mm-hmm. Yeah, look, this is mommy and daddy. Look, you. this is mommy. See? Nice mom. So that was mommy and daddy at a Super Bowl party. So I'm going back. Sorry for making you dizzy. Mama, look at you guys. Aww. That's mommy and daddy. Oh, this is still rolling. Hi, guys. Bye. 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 Love you. Bye, Grandpa. Yes, baby. Let's go. Oh my gosh, your first time using a stroller in three years? No. Yes. I've used it. When was the last time you used this stroller? Oh, I used to have both the girls. Aw. The, the what? The gios. The gios. Friends, that's what Callie says. That's how she calls girls, is gios. For those of you who were around three years ago, Cassidy had right hip dysplasia. Callie had right hip dysplasia. Did I say you said Cassidy? Cassidy? No, I just said Callie. You said Cassidy. Cal I, I rewind. Cassidy had right hip dysplasia. I told you. You said Ca no. You said Cassidy. No. Callie had, yeah. Callie had right hip dysplasia, <laughs> and she was in the brace. Well, at at birth or her first assessment, they said her right Cassidy her right had hip click. had had like a click to it. It's and nowhere we like, near as bad as Callie's. It was. wasn't bad where they were like, you don't need to go get checked. No, they for said a just month. double check on it. They said just just check. How many people does it take to put in a car seat onto a stroller? Just two. Look at you. Uh -huh. Love you, have so much fun. Oh. I'm gonna go do all of our groceries because I'm not allowed in the hospital. Okay, send me a list of what you want me to do at Costco. Love you. Yeah. Bye. You did so good. I'm pretty confident that she's gonna be okay. And a bathroom is not a normal place to vlog, but oh my gosh, nursing in public is kind of a joke. <laughs> they probably were like, uh, did she just get out of bed? Oh my gosh, that's like, <laughs> it looked so cute before. Okay, I'm not gonna redo it. I'm just gonna do that little braid clip in the back, wavy on this side. There we go. <laughs> now I don't look like I literally rolled out of bed and walked here. freeway because she was losing her mind and I tried to calm her I fed her a little bit no 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 this with daddy is the only thing that works <laughs> are we happier yeah okay so I took out the insert that was right down here and I think this part was pushing so hard into her skin because her legs were up so tight. Does that feel better? Can you talk more? What can you talk about? Did I have a dimple right here? Did everyone just see? Ah, I think I had a dimple. Ah, I have a dimple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I cute. I so cute. <laughs> uh, yeah.